What is up, ladies and G's? Your boy D1 back. We're back on that search and destroy grind. Uh, GB, MLG, all that good shit, help, and tips for S and D. Whoa, what is wrong with my? Oh, my camera's just messed up. Uh, it's really big right now because of what I was doing earlier. Uh, what we're talking about today is offense. I like to run just a regular bow here. Uh, with stuns preferably uh, the first one we're gonna go over is B push uh, this is gonna be like probably your better AR um, you want this guy to be able to time his nades right and be able to win a gunfight so what he's gonna do he's gonna push right off the rip fast as he can uh, this is what I do for my team uh, do whatever works for your team alright by the time you get to this second jump there should be a guy either jumping up to that this little thing right here, he should be jumping up to right there, or it should be like jumping back here. So what you want to do is as soon as you get up here, pop your nade right there. You want anybody that's trying to get on top here to be stunned, and you at least want to know that they're there. If you get hit markers, you don't see anybody, you know automatically you can push right here, and he's going to be right there in that corner, and use this as cover win this gunfight this guy's first blood is uh, pretty damn important because you need to push uh, you need to push this building as far as you can when you get up here all you gotta do is just stay alive right here uh, somebody should be rotating back either through here or through here you don't have to challenge these guys uh, this should be a pretty simple gunfight but after you get up here this is your responsibility this whole back corner of the map uh, you have three guys watching your whole flank and all this stuff right here this is a pretty simple spot. Um, if you got people to start dying back here, maybe you want to push up and try to get the back corner maybe a different angle. Uh, right here is a good spot. Just kind of chilling here. Another good spot is right here. You can see the whole flank and you're able to come back and help from the window or a bottom orange when you uh, later in the round, like after you get the bomb down. Your main job is to stay alive and win that first gunfight. Destroy. Alright, so what you're going to do for your OBJ, uh, usually Destroy you have an ASM1 running this, but you can do it with a, a bow too. Uh, usually, you just want this pretty, pretty straightforward. You want to get to this spot as quickly as possible. Uh, you can beat the other team to right here uh, with the help of this AR. You should be able to win any gunfight because you should be stunning these guys. Even if they send two, you should be stunning at least one of them. And if his stun is right and hits about right here or just behind there, he should pick up one of these guys too. So he can let you know that people are there. Uh, your first and main priority is uh, Yellow Cat. You just want to check it from right here. You don't want to get shot bottom orange because this guy's not responsible for it. So you've got to be wary of that. Uh, just check in Yellow Cat because sometimes people will rush there, try to get people that are uh, getting down the bomb quick and be checking right here and people that are jumping up middle he just wants to stay right here in this area uh, helping out wherever he can and just being smart about when to plant uh, the, rec the side that I recommend planting on is back here uh, for the simple fact that you can watch it from uh, over there in the pipe room or you can see it from orange window if you get stuck so the first thing I would do is I would come into this building and just kind of keep people off of you just stay alive as long as you can. If you have people dying on the flank, uh, and they're full rushing, another spot you can go to is you just XO out. Just kind of slow play this. Maybe get a pick if you need to. But you can always wrap all the way around, and you can still see the bomb on that back corner from right here. And if you have a sniper, uh, you can even go up here on this railing or in between those pipes but <clears throat> there's a few different places you can see it from uh, but mostly you just want to get your bomb down as quick as possible in my opinion and then wrap all the way around uh, get behind people and you can easily get over there uh, before they defuse the bomb you just gotta be quick about it alright so for this one you're gonna have this is gonna be kinda like your mid uh, mid map watcher uh, this guy's job is pretty simple uh, just watching flanks. Um, first thing I would suggest doing is jumping right up here. 
and just helping anybody that challenges middle or uh, top orange or even bottom orange. This is just kind of your help support player. Um, if he wants to, he can push up here. Make sure nobody's pushing for middle. That way you can, you have your <clears throat> your spots covered a little more heavily, I guess. You guys are bunched up a little more. But this also leaves you prone to uh, flanks from the back and to getting two-pieced pretty easily. Um, another spot just right here. Anybody that jumps up, you're going to hear them. Um, one spot after, th this is a good spot for when the bomb's being planted because you can just kind of pop it around here and trade yellow cat and you have the middle and the uh, pipe room but one spot after the bomb is planted I like to go to is uh, right here anybody that comes in behind you is gonna have to jump and you're gonna hear that but anything other than that you have a wide open view and you should have your OBJ and your uh, Slayer slash support guy up top here, so you've got plenty of cover from over there. You just need to watch the middle, pipe room, and yellow cat. You just need to communicate, uh, stay hidden. You don't really have to make too many big plays. Just kind of stay alive and support the team. Alright, for your last guy, there's a couple different things that you can do. Um, personally, if I was this guy, I would come here and try to pick this sniper. Uh, through this glass if not don't worry about it but I like to watch this whole side just to see if there's any immediate pushes through glass if not I would back up there's a few different spots to watch the flank um, you can do it just sitting right here uh, shit well, you used, this used to be a little bit higher anyways <clears throat> Some people like to watch it from all the way back here. Uh, there's a few different places to do this from. If you see one there, bounce that way. See one over there, bounce this way. Uh, it kind of it messes with people, but at the same time you can play with this cover. Use it to your advantage. Um, real popular spot is up here, just laying down or being behind this glass. It's hard to see you, and any anybody that's stuck in this back parking lot is usually a pretty easy target. If you have a stun, just chuck it behind there. Um, if you want to stay close, right here is a pretty good spot. Uh, you can't really get killed from behind. Or, if you want to, you can play this guy as like a middle flanker. Uh, just kind of rush middle and wait for your team to get the bomb down, and he can watch middle from here. Uh, this leaves your flank open. But it leaves you with a couple different angles as, like, say, you can trade right here pretty easily. We lost that fight, but it's so he can do a few different things. It's a flexible player. He's got to be smart about it. But uh, thank you guys for watching. That's S and D. Uh, B push. We'll do an A push tomorrow or the next day. I'm not really sure. But that's what we're going to start doing is breaking up the A and B pushes to make the videos a little bit shorter. Uh, like I said, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.